We often think that we need to focus as much as possible, become experts on our niche, read up on every latest development in our field, and constantly be studying whatever our topic is so that we can come up with new innovative ways of doing things. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the research, we are our most creative when we are not focused. So it's that time right before sleep, you know, when you're just about to nod off and all of a sudden you you think of something or you Mm -hmm. have a solution come to mind to something you're working on. It's that proverbial aha moment in the shower. Yeah, I was going to say, isn't the shower the place where the people have their best ideas in largest numbers? Absolutely. Yeah, Um, but it's that whole chill aspect. I mean, you know, when you're chilled out, the creative juices flow. Yeah, exactly. And as I was writing the happiness track, I um, had the good fortune of interviewing Nobel laureates and award-winning writers, and all of them were said the same thing. They made time to to be idle, to take walks with you know without checking their phone. Um, to they made time for stillness, they made time for silence, um, either through meditation or not through more contemplative activities or quiet time or walks in nature. And so those are things, uh, it's in that daydreaming state when our brain goes into delta mode that we are most likely to come up with breakthrough ideas. And that's why you also see, um, the other thing is that when you diversify your experiences, so we often will stay so myopically focused on our one field And yet uh, research shows that when we study outside of our field or we have new experiences through travel, for example, we become more creative. 